Okay, um, thank you so much everybody. So my name is Kay Denikoye Chunde and um, it's nice to see your beautiful faces again. And then I really want to thank the former speakers. Thank you so much for everything you said. I did learn something. So um, I was told to speak on work-life balance as an industry person in Hong Kong. So in a way, I would be more general than also, also like, if you have like other questions, you can always meet up with me and I'll be more than happy to talk about it. So, um, when it comes, okay, before I do that, so I want to say that I completed my PhD just last year, October, so I'm very much new in the industry and I still have a lot of way to go. Having said that, so to me, work-life balance has to do with um, trying to uh, balance your professional career and, 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 your, work, and, your, and your normal private life. So when it comes to that, there are so many things involved, and um, I think it's one thing that many people don't really talk about. When it comes to work-life balance, you, you really want to focus on it, and the main reasons why you want to do that is, for one, if you don't have a good work-life balance, it's going to impact so many things. From your job performance, you wouldn't do well with your job if everything is not balanced. You, you're going to struggle with um, your mental health, your physical health, and of course, it's going to affect your relationships. And at the end of the day, it's more than just your work. Your family, your friends actually are so important also. So because of this, it's very much important to um, strive to have a balance between your work and your career. So um, I'm going to just give like general points on how to balance it, because um, in a way, I think it's much important. Um, Dr. Kelvin talked much about um, being able to handle work pressure. So in a way, mine will be towards the other side, which is more of life balance. So, so um, when um, Chiamaka was talking, she mentioned about um, not really being able to um, strive a balance. I would agree with her honestly, because there is nothing like a perfect work-life balance, if we are being honest with ourselves. This week, I might, be, I might have to uh, work extra time before maybe um, there's something that's happening that I need to support at work. Next week, maybe my, my, my wife needs me to do something or we have an appointment in the hospital and I need to make time for it. So um, the reason I'm saying this is, when it comes to work-life balance, you need to try to be good as much as possible and then know how to reassess from time to time. Um, secondly, I would say um, find a job that you love doing. Because when you do something you love, the, the motivation will be there. You will not be frustrated, you will not be stressed. So you might not be really flexible with that when you are doing research, but uh, if you can help it, try to do something that you love a lot. And um, the third thing I would probably say is um, prioritize your health and your mental health in, in general. So if you are in a place where you feel you're not happy and um, you are being stressed, you might want to reevaluate and um, look for um, something better. And then the fourth thing, which uh, is very much important to me is uh, has to do with you being able to unplug yourself uh, whenever you need to. So sometimes um, I get overwhelmed with so many things. Maybe I have like so many backlogs and um, so many things to do, family and everything is there. And in a way like it gets so much to me. So what I do in those cases is I step back, put things that I feel like they are not important at the moment, focus on the major things, delegate as much as possible, and give myself some time to um, Recover. Restore, my, restore my energy, then, then I come back and yeah, I, I'm all about everybody's space again. So um, the fifth thing would be to take a break, take a, break, a, a vacation. So say, um, saying this, I would say in the last five years, I've been to Nigeria five times. So my PhD professor knows this. Once it's like, once it's like November, December, I'm always like, okay, calculating. What do I, what I, what I need to give her that? When I go and say, I, I prop, I need to go to Nigeria. <laughs> she wouldn't say no. So I've, I've always been like that because I, I feel at the end of the day, our family is really important, and sometimes we can't really uh, postpone things. For example, I think I would have heavily regretted if I didn't go to Nigeria that much because I lost my father last year and I'm glad that for a very 
um, long time, towards the end of, end, end, end of life, I, I got to really spend time with Dr. Scali. I got to do so many things that, that I can always remember. So I would say, take a break if you want to need it. And um, I think for PhD students in Hong Kong, like there's like a 21 days um, break. Take your leave, do anything you want to do. So I will be running on very soon. So um, the, the, the sixth thing I would probably say before running off is you should make time for yourself and your loved ones. Um, so having said that, it's very important that you are considerate. You try to, you try to understand that there are people that also need your time outside your work. Your, 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 if you have kids, your kids need, need, need your time. Your wife, your friends, they need you. So you need to really adjust whenever they they need you to do it. So I'm going to um, end my very short time with, with this. So I believe that we only live once. So live a good and responsible life. Do what you love. Enjoy yourself and make impact. Thanks so much. Everybody.